Hi folks, welcome to the Train to Target Science Labs. Today I will explain what antibiotics actually are, where they come from and why it is so important to have them around. I myself am a scientist searching for new antibiotics, so you get the info straight from the source. Ok, what are antibiotics? Basically, they are substances that kill bacterial cells but not human cells. This sounds straightforward, but in practice it isn't. Bacteria and human cells are quite similar, and even if we don't look the same anymore, we were like brothers a long time ago. So why do we need weapons to kill bacteria? That's an easy one. Sometimes bacteria try to kill us and then we have to fight back. So far, things look great. We were so good at finding new antibiotics and defending ourselves against bacteria that most people nowadays haven't even heard about infectious diseases like tuberculosis or syphilis. We have become careless and are using our amazing weapons too lavishly. Unfortunately, bacteria have taken advantage of that and quickly evolved into invading our weapons. Now we have barely anything left to defend ourselves. The time we won't have any functioning antibiotics left is called the antibiotic apocalypse. This future is right around the corner and it is starting as we speak. A lot of people will die and the old people and children will be the most to suffer from it. I know what you ask yourselves. Why don't we just find new antibiotics to defend ourselves? That's a good question and the answer is it's really difficult. Let's see where our current antibiotics are coming from. So there are basically two kinds of sources, chemical and natural ones. Synthetic chemistry has provided us with some very important classes of antibiotics, but it's really outnumbered by the antibiotics coming from natural sources. Over 90% of them have been found in bacteria or fungi. The problem is that most of the antibiotics we find in nature are not very good drugs. They can be toxic, instable or only poorly soluble. We have to improve them first before they become useful to us. It is like comparing a horse carriage with a Ferrari. They are built on the same principles. They both have wheels and you can drive with both of them, but which one would you choose to race with? This means that we find horse carriages in nature, but we need Ferraris in our race against bacteria. Let's move on. Why is it so hard to find new antibiotics? There are many problems. One of them is that we have already found the common, good ones, like picking low-hanging fruits from a tree. Now it gets harder and harder to get more of these apples or antibiotics. To sum up, there is constant development and we scientists are searching tirelessly to find new antibiotics. It is hard, but we have to keep on fighting to preserve the medical advance from which we all profit. If you want to know more about antibiotics and bacteria in general, check out the videos made by my colleagues. The links can be found in the description. You can check us out on our website and social media. Thanks for watching.